Thank you guys for tuning into the Dovis Experience Podcast. Your boy Frank Needham, man. We back for another episode of Snowfall Recap. We are where we on that episode seven. I got my boy Wallace with me again. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? We're gonna we're gonna chop it up and, and recap this episode, man. So Wallace, talk to me, man. Let's kick it out. Tell me how you feel about this episode. Oh man, this episode did for me took a turn. Like it brought up some some man, it was cool because it brought up some different some different scenarios, different players in the game. I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, um, Reed and Avi out there and, and, and doing Reed had to do his thing trying to figure out what's going on. Avi, my thing is Avi called the police on and let him know. I'm like, damn, Avi, like, you know, that that threw me off. Like, damn, Avi did that. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Man, it's a whole bunch, whole bunch. Yeah, I think uh, Javi trying, I mean, Javi trying to save his save his high because I think Javi kind of try to try to hit him over the head for that 15 million because he went to his banker. Was going through. Yeah. It. She tried to come out and de-escalate. Like, oh, we, we put your money back. You know, it was we split the fifteen million back as a courtesy. We figured out who it was. It was somebody within our company. We tried to hide the money. Like, nah, nah, nah. Y'all try to hit me for fifteen million. Fifteen million. The guy name? No, we can't give you the guy name. What's going on? I want to talk to him. No, you can't talk to him. And the whole time, Harvey's just kind of looking at him sideways, man. Like, hey, to- leave it alone. Keep talking about leave it alone. Leave it alone. Exactly. Even when he was, even when he knew. He knew Reed was gonna go try to track the guy down. He tried to come to the hotel room with the bottle to get him kind of squared off. Like, nah, bro, I need to go find this dude because I think, you know, since I'm going on behind the closed door for this, for this money that you've been kind of moving around and hiding, trying to get over on me. So, yeah, the hobby situation. But I want to give you props because you talked about uh, you talked about last week where uh, there was going to be a situation where uh, we we were trying to figure out what man boy with the whole situation with man boy. And uh, I kind of I pinned it down, man. Boy, why, well, he was like, "Why, why they, why, like, why they ain't go hit?" You were talking about say, "Man, why they ain't go to the club yet and go get Franklin?" Like everybody know where Franklin at. And so when we had the scene this past week, I kind of figured out why they ain't go get Franklin because he trying to figure out where the plug get before they kill Franklin. He's like, "Man, I ain't gonna kill Franklin because I ain't gonna know where the plug. We need to figure out where the plug get, then we can kill it." Because he was so upset that with his sister when she had put the hit out on him, when she's exactly. like. Like, cause I've been like, why he been dragging his foot? And I know you talked about this last week, and then kind of, and then done on me like he been dragging his foot because he don't want Franklin dead yet. He want cause he was a, he probably had the people following Franklin, him and Peaches, yep. to, to try to figure out where the plug is so they can try to you know get it intervene, they can go talk to the plug, then they can hit Franklin, they can kind of hop in the spot. But without him, you got no dope. Got no dope. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yep, you you hit it right on the head right there, man. Like soon as soon as soon as uh uh. I'm about to call him D-Ray. That's his real name. But uh, Peaches, Peaches was like, somebody following them, and then they stopped and turned around. But I was like, that's man boy. And then, like you said, at the end, when he, when he smacked, he was hella mad at his sister. Like, yep, confirmed it right there. Like, they following him. They following him, trying to get it. Like you said, that's why he's dragging his, dragging his feet. Um, getting mad, uh, you know what I mean? Getting mad and, yeah, like, put a hit. Because, yeah, she put a hit. Like, she, she fucking everything up. Yeah, because if she go hit him and he dead, then they don't got no plug, then everybody lose. So it's like, man, I'll get him once I feel, you know what I'm saying? He's like, man, we'll hit him because I know where he at. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I always go hit him when I can go see him whenever I want to, but I got to figure yeah. out where his plug, where he meeting his plug is so we can go jump the plug, jump him and jump the plug, get the yep. dope. Yep. And it's going to it's gonna fuck it up between man boy and the sister because when the sister find out why he, dra- what he, why he dragging his feet, she, gonna, she ain't going to fuck with him again. There was already at the end's before her, her her daughter got killed, you know, then he came back, you know, they reconciled, you know what I mean? But when she find that out, it, you know, it gotta come out. It's gonna come out. Cause she feel like she she get more progress. She feel like she get more progress than he is and she and he in the streets. And she like, look, I done already found out what a fat bag, you know what I'm saying, is got him out of jail. You know, I done hit him already and you ain't doing nothing. You out here in the streets every day moving around. Moving around. Like, what, like, like you supposed to be that guy. Uh, Exactly. Supposed to be one, one of those guys. Like, how you not able to find these cats? Why you ain't out here doing something? Yeah, man. Like you, like you said. So it was like, man, Scully wasn't in this in this one in this episode. Nah, he, you know. So and uh, just to go back and see how Leon, because you know they saw the preview of Leon going back in the trap and somebody pulling a pistol on him. So you know we saw that we saw what happened. It was actually you know what I'm saying I one, thought he was gone. But the bounty, yeah, in the, in the preview, it makes like he was gone, but it was just somebody trying trying to uh, hit him for the bounty. But he back in the trap. He said that old the old OG was like, "Nah, homie, you ain't gonna just come in here like that." I said, "Yeah, I was about to ask you about that. Like, where dude come from? 
I know that he said his fat back cousin, but like this is the first, like I said, new players. Like, man, this is the first time we see. So my thing is like, where dude come from? And Leon, how you not know about this dude? This is your projects. Exactly. Like, where he come from? How you not know about the dude at all? You know what I mean? Like, at all. So and let me know he ain't have his post on, on on what was going on in the project. He probably in the projects, but in the house. You know what I'm saying? Well, Fatback was the one who was taking care of everything. He was paying for all the stuff to get fixed in the, in the, in the project. You know, he would make sure everybody was fed. You know what I'm saying? And so let, they let me know that uh, he really went on top of things because, you know what I'm saying, if you're on top of stuff in your projects, in your hood, you know exactly what's going on. You know who need, who need to be paid, who need to be taken care of. And then you go yeah. for a week or two, and then you come back, and all of a sudden somebody else, another player that stepped in your shoes already and told you about your hood, kicked you out your hood. Hey, I'm about to say that. Hey, Leon posted Leon posted square up on that nigga. I don't give a damn if that nigga and hey, that nigga was swole as a motherfucker though. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga, I done, hey, I was like, damn, this nigga hella swole right here. Nigga put nigga took that shirt off and put the put the gun down. I was like, ah, oh. like I've been itching to knock somebody out. Yeah, I'm like Leon. That's when you supposed to file that nigga when he taking this shit off because like nigga, you ain't gonna win square up. He gonna. <laughs> dust them up and then he lose all respect then you're gonna dust them up and lose all respect in the hood then you can't let him dust you up like that man hey i'd have had nigga when he taking this thing off hit him in the nuts or something bow and then hit him with an uppercut hey he'd have had to... that boy had that 15 inch herringbone on like look oh man you know that nigga from the 80s right there <laughs> that boy had the herringbone had the herringbone on yeah right. I, I already know what time it is and get even and put them punkin heads on Leon. Leon, like, all right, man, we'll come back. We're gonna have to talk about that later, man. It's wrong. Hey. So, you think you handle that OG? I got OG problem, man. Man, the nigga said OG problem. Like, nah, nigga, that, hey, hey, but you know, hey, that's why Jerome came up with that motherfucker. Like, hey, I go with you. <laughs> like, you know, Jerome ain't no little nigga. You know, Jerome, I think that I think that kind of made Jerome kind of like fit in. He wanted to kind of be back in the, in the streets a little bit, man. They kind of yeah. made kind of brought him back to his roots. Like, man, I go with you. When it got yeah, that, I go with you. Go Jerome there. was like, "Hey, them was old school rules. Like you got that means that means you got to square up if you want and, and, and put them hands." Up. Hey, Jerome was he was he was ready for. It. He was like, "Hey, hey, hey, you know Jerome be holding that cigarette like, and he was ready like, yeah, you 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 what's the name of them people, huh, nigga?" <laughs> Jerome said, "Would you would you hit about three fifty? No, yeah, yeah, plates. You like four plates? Yeah, yeah four plates. Said, oh, you, I heard you was." Mr. Olympia type nigga, yo. So what he say? You supposed to go to Olympics, nigga. So she like, <laughs> and, uh, I had knocked nigga. You thought I was on the roads. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the whole time that nigga, hey, Jerome didn't break character. Yeah, all right, all right, nigga. <laughs> we need, hey, we need one. We need some of your soldiers, man. Tell him what's one hundred thousand times. So, so he gave me shout out some numbers. Hey, like, thirty nine me, like, bro. He like, man, I don't know. Here he go, drunk. Here he go. Uh, what's yeah. it? I was, Leon's like, man, I don't need no calculator. I'm no human calculator. Yeah. <laughs> but, he, but he don't realize he need people like that on his team. You can have all the muscle in the world, but you don't have nobody to use their brain. What good is that? What good is that? And, that, and that's, bro, you, you bring that up. That's what I don't understand. It's like Disney, the only thing, like you said, you said it a couple of times during, during our recaps. Like, excuse me. Um, this nigga Franklin, bro, like how you... The only thing that's holding niggas off your ass is that coat. Nigga, Franklin ain't got no soldiers. Leon ain't got no, like, fat back. Look at that nigga was the only. Bro, like, you, like, bro, how you, you act the new dude that came over and took your block for some soldiers. Come on, bro. You they respect, You know where their loyalty gonna go. You know where their loyalty gonna go. You know what I mean? Like, you can't trust the niggas. Oh, they gonna go. You know who they gonna go with. They gonna go with the boy they know. They ain't rocking with you like that. You just paying them. He's paying them, bro. You know, and you lucky the nigga would take a shit or whatever they said, cause oh, he, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Dolphin was about to dust you off, nigga, about to blow that hair off your off your head, nigga, all that afro, nigga. She said five. She said five k, dead or alive, dead or alive, nigga, about to blow the afro off of that nigga shit, like, and that nigga came back with the Kurt Shirley Temples, uh, put the <laughs> nigga taking the shit. <laughs> exactly, bro. That shit. What you, bro? Tell me this though. What, what? Saints dad, nigga. Oh, the snitch. He's snitching, bro. He's snitching, bro. Like w- w- you can tell. Like you hit him. With, you hit him with the last. Like she hit him with the Black Panther talk. She hit him with the Black Panther talk. And the dude in the when the when the crackhead when the, when the crackhead boy. Yeah. yeah. That's what. That was a straw that broke the camel back for him. That was a straw. The guy died. Baby, baby, gonna be broke up from from the brother. Mama on mama on the rock. That that got him, bro. That that was that was a straw that broke the camel back for him, bro. 
he was done. He was like, I gotta get out of this. I gotta, gotta get it. But hey, what's he he killed her though. He killed her. He killed her, bro. Cause that story about to go. Uh the pops don't want to tell her who it is. But remember, Wanda gonna tell Leon. He would have, but but big boy came up right when she was trying to tell him. Yep, exactly. So when she because Leon don't really know what's going on yet, but she know something. And she gonna figure out at some point she gonna get a, she, we're gonna get back to gonna get back to uh to Franklin from Wonder because I told you she gonna wanna she gonna wanna get back on you know she gonna get a job she's gonna be like, like man we ain't you you gonna hit the crack and get it back on you like I'm gonna clean that and yeah. she got that little tidbit of information gonna well, somehow get back to Franklin like you say hey for the company bro because you know because you saw the preview we read telling me hey, look you gotta put the muzzle on your pops bro you gotta put the muzzle on oh they gonna put the yeah muzzle, right. They're about to, yeah, they're about to put the muzzle on. They're about to send uh old Peaches over there. You know, Peaches, hey, Peaches will put in that work. He be, he be wanting to do it. Hey, he you gonna let me, when, when, when he pulled over, it was like, now nah, let him go. You gonna let the niggas go? Like, you know what? Like, <laughs> hey, Peaches. He using the brain. He ain't using it. Yeah, he like, nigga, what's wrong with this nigga? That's brain. He ready to just go, he want to go through the brick wall. So you got to have people with brains. But yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? Frank just hit the pops with the pistol. Pistol, hey, the pops talk some crazy stuff to him, bro. You you the car, you kill Andre. You kill yeah, Andre. Man. You go get shoot me like you did Andre. That nigga, <laughs> I think <laughs> Franklin looked at him like, you know why we got crack in the hood? It's, it's because of you. Hey, that was, hey Franklin was he hit the point. He hit the he hit the breaking point then. Breaking point told that nigga he about to kill the people off. We did, we didn't we didn't we didn't we didn't fought through all this and this and that, but we can't make it through you. That nigga was like, Bow! what did you think? Bow. <laughs> Here with that pistol, straight on the head, straight crack this shit, crack this shit, and, and I'm like, bro, his mom's pushed him, he's still hurt. I'm like, damn nigga, what Meg shoot you with? Nigga, what shot that nigga with a forty five or something? Like, you still hurt, bro? Like, bro he's still on the cane, bro. Sam, he been on Sam episode. He's still on the cane, bro. Like, still on the cane. Okay, they gonna have him walking on the cane the whole season? Whole season, bro. Like, hey, Meg, Meg, what's, yeah, Meg, Meg, what's her name? Meg. Megan. Oh no, uh, Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel. Yeah, I like Mel must have hit you with a four five or something. It couldn't have been no little deuce deuce or 38 or something. Hit him three times, bro. He can't, he been on the cane for the whole season. Whole season. Mom pushed him, he grabbed his chest. Ah, like, bro, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> I'm like, bro. Hey, mama. Man. Hey, mama hurt though when he told him. Cause yeah, cause he had the opportunity to tell her, he got an opportunity to tell his wife when he was sitting beside the bed what he was thinking about. And he was like, Let, we should get out. And she was like, man, if you get Franklin to get out, then we'll do it. But I ain't doing, I ain't abandoning my baby no more. And at that moment, he put up in like, look, I had somebody come to me, blah, blah, blah. I think we should do this, blah, blah, blah. But he didn't say nothing. He just went talk to the reporter later. And that's what the wife was like, you talk, you chose a reporter over, over me, over us? You chose a reporter over us? He's like, man, the story's going to come out anyway. He's like, nah, but you chose her over. You didn't even talk to the family about this. He, he, to him. he spilled the beans, too. And then you know I'm saying and, and, and there was nothing she could write about because she has nothing on the record. She just had all the information just like they had, and there's nothing that can be done because he had nothing, nothing. on them. They're gonna kill, they're gonna kill Saints Pops too. If right. Saint don't if Frank don't do it, we ain't gonna do it. Bro, it bro, you can't you can't you can't have nobody out there on the team like that, bro. Reed go, hey, you know, Reed, Reed don't care. Reed to kill that kill his pops in the minute. Bro, he spilled all the beans, bro. Snitched on the family, bro. How you gonna go against the family, man? And you know what's the name didn't like him anyway. Jerome ain't like him anyway. Nah, remember? Yeah, yeah, because it was a, it was a. That's the big issue between him, him and him and his sister. Yeah. So, hey, Jerome, hey, yeah, man. Cause you can see how he was at the house when they when they was having their birthday, his bride's birthday party. Jerome won. Jerome, I, he was a little bit angry at at, uh, at uh, Franklin for sure for yeah. keeping. Loop about Reed, but also, you know what I'm saying, about the brother issue because they've been, they were beefing when Franklin was hurt about the business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They were beefing. And so when him sitting there, he would just had a lot of anger built up. You can just see it. Yeah. And you see him throwing them shots at Louis. Everything. Everything she said, he was boom hitting her. Like, yep. and she was looking at him like, damn. Like, <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah. He, he, that's why he was so amped to leave and get out, get out, get out the club and wait around her, go back out in the street. Yep. Yep. When she was like, what you mean going in the, she was like, you want the motherfucking shit to keep, keep start rolling? Then this, this, hey, we're going to get the prize. Hey, you want boy Jerome? I'm out here. I'm out here. I'm, yeah, man. Uh, Louis, she, 
I, it looks like she 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 don't she about to un, look like she unraveling a little bit too. There's a lot going on, bro. There's a lot going on because they because it just like you can see just at the beginning of the, at the beginning of the episode, you know, Franklin sitting all this like, oh man, they got the body, they easing up off us now. Then all of a sudden you get a mama come in with some more bad news. It's like he just get out. It's like every bow bow every time he think he get over the hump, it's something else, it's something else, something else, bro. Every time and it's like he don't. He not he not closing chapters like bro like you got too much going on and you trying to move forward like try to expand to Memphis and you got all this heat at home uh, you ain't had no, your team ain't strong you got the you got the police on you now your pops like you said pops done told not a, not not, a, not a, uh, about the news about to break yep the whole Reed thing. coming at you like you can you replaceable bro he don't know bro he, he don't, Scully and Man Boy on his head. Bro, he just got a lot going on, bro. Not, not to be, you know, what I'm saying, guy. He ain't, he ain't, like I said, he ain't closed. He ain't wrapping nothing up. He ain't wrapping nothing up. Bro. It's just like he going from one brick problem to the next problem, next problem to the next problem, next problem. He go patch this problem up, then another leak come out from the other side. He's like, he just spit it like it's just water, just holes in the boat, just all over the place, bro. All over the place, you know. It's like, it's like he went, he wasn't built for this. You got, he's smart as fuck, smart ass kid. But this is. This is new, bro. So the money came so fast. Yeah, bro. And he don't and he don't know the, the rest of the stuff. Even the crackheads, because you remember if you remember when um when Wanda when the when the dude died at, at Saint's dad's place, right? Mm-hmm. He got the he OD'd outside. What she called it? The freeze? Oh, he got the freeze. They didn't even know what they didn't even have a name for it yet. Yeah, he's like when he, he OD. Yeah, he like he froze. They said what happened when they freeze, they froze. Yeah, the freeze like, bro, that's over. The, but it's so it's so new. It was so new. Yeah, it's so new. They don't know what that. It was, and then the, the police officer like, yeah, we see this been happening. So they get the they get the stuff in the system and overload the hard, and then they die. Mm-hmm. <laughs>